So we are now trying to build a probability distribution function associated with the geometric Brownian motion model. So our model was the stock price. This we wrote as mu st dt plus sigma st dwt. So this is our drift and this is our diffusion. And that's what you write here. Drift is mu times s, mu times s. Diffusion is sigma times s, sigma times s. Your state variable is s, time variable is t. You solve for s. Your initial stock price is 100. So we are going to do 100 such simulations. And then based on the simulations, we will construct a distribution function. You will have the 31 percentile value, 52 percentile value, 60 percentile, 70 percentile and 95 percentile so you can add as many percentiles you want to in this here so we are going to simulate this again and again i'm just writing add the rate of data at the rate original dot data here because we want to extract the data from this uh, simulation then we are going to s apply 1 to 100 this is the simulation number 1 to 100 so we are going to do 100 simulations. That's why we are doing this as a function. Then I'm transposing the simulation because say if I, if you do just five simulations, uh, this simulation matrix, this one is going to give you something like this. It'll give you five simulations result, three, four, and five. And I'm not putting any grid here. Uh, notice that in simulation, I'm not putting any grid here. So this is going to give me 100 such things. So I don't want data like this. What I want data like this is I want the simulations here, evolution here, path evolution like this. And then my simulations here. So these are my simulations. So I know what on day one I get. So day one, everything is going to be 100 because that's what we are starting with. So these five simulations on day one would all have the same price. And day two, all these five simulations would differ. But we are going to make sense of these different simulations by binding them with some probability and noticing you know what falls in what bucket so this is to calculate the mean if you want to calculate the mean of the all the simulations instead of five simulations i'm running 100 so you can run a 10000 simulation here or a thousand simulation here generally the standard is thousand simulation and then you again apply this quantile function to form different buckets so the standard practice uh, for a bank is this. So you have the evolution here for a particular path. So this is 100 here, but I have shown in the previous lectures how to make this 100 into 1000. So this is the number of days of evolution. And then you have different paths. So you could have a 1000 simulations. So this, this side is simulations. And this side is your days or the evolution. So then you can just uh, put data here and then you can, uh, once you put the data here, then you can form buckets. Now, since these are days, your variable is drawn from normal zero one. But here in our model, we are drawing the variable from normal 0 t where t is 1 over 1 by 100 so this is not exactly what a normal simulation would be carried out by a big bank so what you can do is essentially you can rewrite a grid so again to rewrite the grid what you can do is you can give the terminal point you can give the terminal point in the grid as 100 and then you can also write your number of simulations as 100 and that will solve the problem this will give you a normal zero one and i have explained this grid in the previous lecture how to write this grid so let us now run this code and see what it gives so this finally you're going to apply the quantile function and this tile will display the results so let us see this so this is our model so let us run this part first from here to here. So
so let us run now this distribution till part here so this just is output of matrix m2 and now we'll just apply this percentile functions so notice that we have got some percentiles let us start reading the percentiles from here so for the first you always have 100 then the second evolution you start getting real data you have 31 percentile is 99 52 percentile is 100 60 percentile is again 100 70 is 101 95 is 103 this is 98 100 101 105 so notice how it is uh, the paths are changing so if you want to call these days so right now we are just calling this evolution one two three four five because i'm taking the time as one by one by hundred so that is uh, point zero one so you have to change your grid to normal zero one if you want to make this as days one two three four so that is what all the quants in the banks do is uh, they will take three months to produce such simulations and they will just play with the time and try to give different scenarios so that is it you basically can add as much uh, divisions you want here and you can change your grid accordingly but this is your evolution so now you can uh, buy and sell call and put option accordingly because now you have probability distribution so say if you're working on uh, a particular time you know that you know uh, probability of stock price going above 112.36290 is pretty slim at evolution 11 so what does evolution 11 mean so that depends upon the grid you choose here i'm the grid i'm choosing is one divided by 100 so you can also choose grid as one in that case uh, uh, the normal variable has to be um, taken out accordingly so that is it it is all a function of grid but this is important because now you can uh, you know buy and sell call options or buy and sell put options according to the probability distribution